Today we're making Kirby car. Today we're making Kirby car. So we're here in the room in my house that I like to call the car disassembly area. So this is a Volkswagen Golf and we're gonna be using this as the base. I whipped up this thing off camera, not even this specific model. I literally made the Volkswagen Golf. Now the biggest, most obvious thing we'll have to change is the color and the rust. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna leave this outside for a whole year. I actually recorded this about a year ago. We're just gonna repaint it and then do all the stuff custom. It's important to note, this model that I made came with, when I ordered it, this little toothpick. Kinda works okay, I guess. So we'll see you guys in the part of my house that I like to call the repaint and, and grind the paint off and then repaint the car room. All right, we're gonna grind the car down. I'm gonna use, oh, hold on. I'm just gonna use like this sander and like a Dremel and some, some wire or whatever. I'm gonna tell a little bit of a story, kind of an important update about the channel as I do. I just use this time real quick. So a few years ago, some of you guys may have Alright, my GoPro died and now my phone camera is the only camera I have, so... But I want to show you guys just like... Because I thought it looked really cool. As a designer of the Volkswagen Golf, I think it would look better in chrome. You'll notice I only did the bottom half of it. I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but Kirby, he's gonna be permanently around this car. He's gonna be engulfing this and he's not gonna let go. He's just, he's hungry. He devours, it's about power. <laughs> to take a hot shower. All right, with the camera properly framed here, we're gonna do a little body filler on this because we gotta fill in this little front part, make it smooth. Y'all didn't think I'd put this much effort into a flipping Kirby car. And I'll tell you, it's not because I'm an especially like effort heavy human being or anything like that. Personally, I just want people to think I'm cool and avoid ridicule. That's my motivation for most of the things I do in life. We'll get a little bit of this pudding out of here. You wanna make sure there's just even color all around, no marbling or anything like that. Grab your nearest eating utensil and just honestly go ham on it. Oh, oh brother, just filler. That's why it's called body filler. And now we're gonna meticulously balance the car upright. All right, with the remaining body filler here, I'm gonna remove this glove. And I like to do a little challenge where, where you just push your fingers into it and you hold them there until it dries and see if you can pull your fingers away when it's dry without ripping any flesh. All right, it's been about 10 months later and it is nice and hard and dry. We're just gonna use this car grinder to grind the car down. I know the audio might not be great while using this thing, but I did actually have an update to the channel that I wanted to give. Nah, just kidding. There is no channel update. You've been deceived again. Turns out we got a flat-fronted car. Very easy. We'll see you guys at the painting grounds for what may result in more hijinxes, some of which having to do with plenty more falsehoods and, and liary. I've forgotten how to be funny without that. All right, you'll notice my little paint area here is actually pink. And I just have to address it because otherwise there's just not a single thing that can be left in a video that's like slightly abnormal without someone getting really ticked off about it in the comments. Honestly, all it is is I just really like pink. Pink is just, so I just painted it pink. This board of wood here and this, frick off. Normally I wouldn't bother recording this exact part, but it's not exactly something you get to see very often. It's a nice transition. So I figured I'd just show it, even though it's not especially interesting. All right, the first layer is all dry. Now we're gonna go with the layer of this blue stuff. The color is Glossy Baby. And normally this process of putting a layer of paint on is not especially exciting, but it's also a little bit satisfying. I thought maybe I should show it anyway, because you don't get to see this very often. All right, I'm gonna paint the headlights now with this orange color. Normally I wouldn't record just a random painting process because it's kind of boring, but I thought I would do it just because it's like not something you get to see too often. So I, I thought maybe it'd be good to do anyway. So here we go. All right, we're back in the blue area for a moment. I did want to point out, it's always good to sort your screws out by number. It's your God-given right as an American or wherever you live. I want to show you guys the hubcaps are just completely domular. So we're gonna try and apply that to this model here. And thankfully, a little known fact, during production of Kirby and the Forgotten Hand, Sakurai was going through like a physical health phase, a really healthy, eat, a really healthy eating time. And with a lot of the food he was making, he was adding one fourth a teaspoon of 
healthy uh, of health powder to his meals. And so when he designed this car, he made sure that the hubcaps were exactly one fourth a tablespoon in size. Actually, I feel like this sticks out too much. He made sure they were a half a tablespoon chopped half of the half of the tablespoon off and then that gives the right contouring. Okay, so to make these, we're gonna use the classic hunk of flesh. Pack it in nice and tight. That's great, good job, phone. I just noticed it says screw position. That's not appropriate language. This is editing, Peter, hello. I also fashioned a front bumper from the clay and while I'm here and while I have a platform to defend myself, I just want to express how disappointed I am in my camera for the blurriness. I am so, so sorry. You'll receive checks in the mail for compensation soon. Okay, this sucks, I'm not doing it. All right, so we're gonna paint the parts I made for the front. Ah, my jaw just locked up. So we're gonna paint the parts for the front bumper here with this glossy kind of metallic effect. But I wanted to show the painting process, even though it's kind of boring. I thought you guys would really, really like my Christmas plate. I painted these off camera because it's not interesting. This is my character arc. I know a lot of you guys are thinking right now, isn't the car supposed to look kind of cruddy and worn? I mean, this looks pristine. This looks fresh off the lot. Wonderful visibility in the windshield. You're a keen and observant guy, I'll tell you that. Oh man, I can't get anything past you guys. Because we have the two layers of paint, I'm just gonna take it, sand it. I thought you could anyway. And as you sand it, you get that slight rusty looking effect on the bottom. And the fun thing about that is if you do it to the whole thing, then it's, it's done to the whole thing. And then I did that. All right, we have all the parts. We have these rings that I painted off camera for the headlights because yeah, painting's just not really that interesting. And we got a face cam without a tripod because with how good this is gonna look, you gotta see my face when I see it. I'm seeing it, I mean, it looks, it, yeah, it looks good. First off, I broke the bumper. Twice! <laughs> now I know that the front bumper in the actual image actually was a little curved on the edges. I simply didn't have the skills to fabricate that. There'll be things you run into. And you might say, well, you're making the Kirby car in real life. You should have the skills to fabricate it or why would you be doing it? If I had all the skills available to really remake this in real life, then it would be a real full-sized Volkswagen Golf with a real Kirby on it. Forget about the Kirby. Do you know how hard it is to get a Volkswagen Golf in this color? Can you please help? Can you hold this for me? Well, yeah, sure, I got it. I got it. Thank you, jeez. But in real cars, most of the time, this little front grille actually leads to something and is an actual grill. Uh, but Nintendo apparently just didn't know this. I'm making it accurate to what the picture is because they just made it so it's, it's blue behind it, I think. I don't know. Awesome, let those dry right here. Just put the tires on them. There's really not much of a process to this. Some people don't like me using hot glue for a lot of this stuff, but it's like, it's immediate. You get the dopamine hit right away, which is way better for YouTube. The dopamine hit, that's all that matters. Screw some of these dudes together. I think it looks, it's pretty, pretty accurate. All that's left now is to put the Kirby on top. For that, we'll see you guys in the room that I like to call putting Kirby on the car room. So now the car is done. As you can see, I put it through the enlargener. Nah, just kidding. So the car is all done. All we gotta do now is cover it in a nice layer of Kirby. I know a lot of people don't agree with the methods of which I do things on this channel. People are always complaining like, why, why didn't you make it out of actual Kirby? Or how come you didn't put an actual tank of gasoline? And I've been reflecting upon that and I think that a lot of you guys are just being unreasonable. <sighs> I'm not frustrated with you, this is just hard to push. I think you need to fix your attitudes, okay? Sheesh. At this point, he's just gonna be bonding with it. He will become a part of this Volkswagen. I know a lot of you guys are saying, ah, this probably looks fine, it's good enough. I am gonna do a bunch of smoothing to it and adding and subtracting for a while. And it's gonna be not that entertaining to watch because anytime I do something that requires any amount of effort or skill, I lose the ability to make it interesting. So to make it interesting, here it is in Fast Forward. And a fun fact about me, sometimes I fall down the stairs for fun. All right, current status of Kirby, consumed a car mostly. At first I ended up painting it with this color, which worked good, but it was a little too dark. So I ended up lightening it. And that doesn't actually make a lot of sense considering this is literally black. 
touch these upright real quick. Very cool. The few things we have left to do. First off, I printed out this sticker. His eyes are very, very tiny. So I'm gonna have to cut them out with an X-Acto knife. Pretty cruddy, so I'm just gonna use scissors because why wouldn't I? All right, exhilarating. They're going on his face like this. The difficult thing here, as I squeeze Kirby between my thighs, is gonna be separating the sticker from the paper. So here's a time lapse of me trying to get a sticker off a piece of paper. Face on, gotta get the rest of the face, which involves these cheeks and his nose. Well, you know, I didn't do too bad there. It is not perfectly centered. In my defense, I can't undo it, so don't even bother complaining. I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you look at Kirby the car in the back, I know, I know we're all strongly against Kirby feet. It's been a long running thing on this channel, but in this case, come on. Yeah, it's done. He's not perfect. There are holes on him. They are pores, so he can sweat. This is the real version of a fake thing, and to make it more realistic. In conclusion, I have a Kirby car. And for the last few seconds in this video, I'm going to open this window so that, just in case maybe a little creepy robber is actually back there, he can also reach out and grab my back. Maybe, maybe rub it for me, please. A little scratch right in the middle. Maybe give me a little pat for how good I did. You got it, please.